Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to refill your watercolor travel kits. So I know a lot of you guys are buying these and you're painting and you're excited and pretty soon your palettes are going to look like this. And if so, if they look like this, then good for you. That means you're actually painting and that's so awesome. So I have a lot of palettes that I work from and what I do is I use two watercolors and I refill them when a paint palette, when a pan goes empty. And actually my main palette is a, pal a palette I bought empty and then I just filled with my favorite colors. Um, so what you want to do here is once your, your paints start to go down like that, you want to just I recommend getting paint in the tubes. It's a lot more affordable in the long run. My favorites are the um, M. Graham and Company Artist Watercolors like this here. The reason I like them is they, they come in larger tubes. So like a standard watercolor tube, let me show you what a, like a Winsor & Newton standard tube here, okay? So here is like, this is five milliliter, this is 15 milliliter. This was eight seventy nine. dollars oh my gosh. And this, I think I paid Four dollars for. So even though that sounds like a lot, probably if you haven't watercolored, I've been using these paints for about 15 years. You just squeeze out a little bit, you let it dry, and then you keep working. So um, it's not as crazy as it seems, but I do find the M. Graham and Company watercolor to be as good as the Windsor Newton Artist Grade, so that's why I've been using those, and I've been very pleased with them, and they, they're a wonderful company. Um, so what you want to do is just squeeze out your paint into your palette, so it's about flush with the edge. You don't want it to stick up, otherwise it might stick to your lid. And then um, you do that for every one of your colors. Now I, I was um, hunting through to see if I had Cotman colors to refill my Cotman palette with because this is the palette I'm going to be teaching with. And um, I was able to find these, this uh, set at Blick online for about $14 each. So it was, uh, I wanted to make sure that I had enough um, supplies for a few students in case people came without supplies. I would be able to provide for several several students and uh, so I did that and so I wanted to kind of make sure I was using very similar colors um, so this is like one of the Cotman ultramarine blues so Cotman is a very um, very reliable brand of paint it's not very expensive oh this one might actually be empty <laughs> I have to get a different oh my goodness yeah I think this one's Okay, so if you get a if you get a tube and it's like, well, gee, I think it's empty. What you want to do before you are ready to toss it, um, you want to get like these are metal tubes. I want to see if my metal my wire cutters will cut through that. Hold on a minute. Let me go find those. Actually, I grabbed my crap job scissors. I think that'll work a little bit better. So I'm just going to cut the package open, the little tube open. I'm going to see if I can get in there and see if there's any color that I can possibly save because, really you can use it till it's completely gone. So I'm gonna get in there and yeah, I do have some color in there. So I just gotta find something that I can scoop it out with, like maybe a little palette knife or something. Let's see if we can get in there and scoop some of that lovely color out of there, which I think we can. Look at this, see, that's enough to refill a pan of color and I was just gonna throw it away. So don't do that, open up your palettes and get it out of there because I mean, that's enough for several paintings. Let me see if I can get some more out of there. So think about, that's a great thing about watercolor as opposed to acrylics or oils, that if it dries in the tube, it's still good paint. You can still get in there and get it out and use it. And um, that's why I think watercolor is the most affordable medium. I probably should have taken that pan right out of there, but that's all right. I'm just gonna scrape that in there. There's a little frugal tip for you. That is practically dry already. It's practically ready for, for the pan already. I'm gonna need to clean that up. But there you go. So there's a little tip for you. Now that's pretty well, pretty well empty. You can even use a wet brush in there and, and get out the rest on your next painting if you want it to be super frugal. I'm gonna work with that a little bit more. But you know, you just go around and you fill in your uh, your colors. Here's a little lemon yellow for this uh, lemon. And if you're not exactly sure what you have for colors, um, just look at it. Like if I look at this red and I look at that red, I can sell, see that that's a warm orangey red. So I want to use like a vermilion or a cadmium red. That's more of a crimson or a rose. So I want to make sure I use a cool red. So just, you know, make sure you're keeping it in the same, um, you're keeping the same integrity of the color when you refill, even if you don't have the exact same um, name color. Like personally, I prefer a rose to a crimson, to a lizard crimson. So I might refill with a rose in that slot. Um, so you know you'll develop your own your own preferences as you go. I'm just gonna smush out it with my finger. That's probably not the best practice, but eh, it'll be fine. Wash your hands, good. This is a uh, hue, luckily, and not real cadmium, so I don't have to worry about about that completely. And I'll probably take a 
like a toothpick and just kind of press that in there really well. And of course, burnt sienna, I use that a lot. And this is one of my M. Graham colors. And I'm just going to squeeze that in. Oh, sometimes, this is another question I got. If you look here, see that's really oily? Sometimes when your tubes sit in your, like in your drawer for a while, unused, they, they kind of, um, they become separated and that's not a problem, but you might want to squirt it out somewhere else and stir it up again. It's not going to be a, um, it's not going to affect the paint. The paint's still fine. It just means your binder and stuff has come apart. And, um, you know, like the guts probably mostly just like a little puddle of glycerin. So I'll take a toothpick and I'll stir that up and get it, you know, back to rights again. So that's how you refill your travel set. Um, you can keep these for years and years. You can always just buy the pans and refill, refill them. But I find getting the tubes is a lot more economical in the wrong, long run. <laughs> I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And um, keep painting. Keep using up that paint so you can keep refilling. It's a good, good thing. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.